Hello everyone. In today's video, I'm gonna do gel extensions to my friend's nails. So it's been a while since we've done our last application. She wanted them to take some rest. So now she's ready for a new set and what I'm gonna do is to shape the free edge and uh, file the whole nail plate. As you can see, I'm making the free edge a little bit round so that my form could fit properly. Apart from that, I'm gonna have to cut a little bit in, in I mean, the side walls of the form so that it could fit perfectly because some of the hair nails are kind of wide and now you can see me doing the cuticle area i'm gonna clean the cuticle area very carefully i'm taking um, i'm pushing back the cuticle and cleaning all the dead skin around it so i'm doing it with a cuticle bead and my e-file next step is to cut with the nippers all the skin that you've pushed back she bleeds easily, so I'm gonna do it very carefully. So guys, I'm gonna file again the nails. I felt like they, I hadn't done it properly. So I'm taking a 180 grid file and doing, doing it again. I'm also going to uh, do again the cuticle area sometimes we miss spots so I wanted to avoid that so now I'm gonna prime the nails and I'm going to rub a thin uh, amount of gel to the nail plate it's the same gel that I'm gonna use for to, to build the nails and to do my extensions. I'm gonna cure this thin layer for 60 seconds. And now guys, I'm going to show you how I'm going to place the form to this middle finger. We just have to make sure that it fits perfectly. As you can see, um, we have. I'm going to cut this si the sides so that I can make it... Um, I mean, it's kind of pressing that spots the nail is pressing that spot so i have to cut it off and that makes the form to fit perfectly 
as you can see now it has the perfect shape it's round it's straight it follows the um, lines of her natural nails so now I'm building the free edge and I'm gonna cure it for six for 60 seconds So I'm doing the exact same thing to the other finger, placing the forearm properly, making sure that it fits perfectly. So guys, you, you're going to have to do this correctly. You're going to have to place the forearm very, very well because no matter how much you file after that you won't get that perfect nail it won't have the the right the correct structure and no matter how much you file you won't be able to fix it so spend more time in i mean making sure that you've placed correctly your forms and everything else gonna be okay i guess and it's gonna make your life easier So I've done the, the extensions and I'm ready to build the nail. As you can see, I'm taking a quite large bead, placing it just before the cuticle area and trying to pull it down to the free edge, making sure I'm cover, I've covered the whole nail with gel, my side walls, my free edge i'm gonna look it from every angle to see the structure of the nail the amount of gel that i've got everywhere and then and when i feel that it's okay i'm gonna cure it so now guys i've done my nails i've cured them and i'm gonna uh, take off the sticky layer and continue with my filing we're gonna shape them into square uh, it's gonna be a soft square with soft edges we don't want them to be very sharp so as you can see I am filing trying to shape them uh, as perfect as I can
So guys I'm done with filing and now finally we're gonna do our gel application, gel polish application. Each uh, finger is gonna be a different color. It's a simple design but it's cute. It was Easter here in Greece so it kind of reminds us of um, those little, little eggs. <laughs> Um, I hope you like the design, it was really uh, easy and fast. And now guys to get that egg effect that I was telling you I am using this egg gel polish as you can see I'm not going to hand paint that hand paint them I'm sorry and it's really easy you don't have to try that much and after that I'm gonna top coat them and they they're gonna be ready so guys i hope you liked the video thank you for watching and see you next time